Hi, I'm Thomas Bowles, Prince William County Agricultural Extension Agent. Welcome to our video. Welcome to Pollinator Week 2020. When most people think of pollinators, they think of honeybees. Honeybees are important agriculturally, but did you know they're not native to the United States? They were imported from Europe. While honeybees have an important economic value and are valuable to the food chain, they're not the only pollinators that are important to our food supply and our ecosystems. There are over 4,000 species of native bees in the United States alone. One of the reasons that honeybees are so important to agriculture is that they're generalists. But they're not the most efficient at pollinating all plants. In fact, with squash, a lot of times bumblebees and a specific group of bees called squash bees are much more efficient. See, there are all sorts of bees looking to get into that squash. You may have seen it or not, but there's actually a big bumble got taken down by a honeybee trying to get to a squash blossom. We've got a honeybee in one of the squash blossoms. The bigger bees are actually much better at pollinating squash. After bees, the most well-known pollinators are probably the butterfly and moth family. While we generally consider butterflies to be great for the garden, they are valuable as adults for pollinators, but keep in mind their larval form is the caterpillar, and the caterpillar is going to eat the plants in your garden. So there is balance in nature. Butterflies are important pollinators, but in their juvenile stages, they can also be a problem in the garden. Distant cousins of the bee family is the ant family, and ants are surprisingly pollinators. In this particular picture, which I took in the garden this morning, they are going into a squash blossom. Ants are not terribly effective pollinators of squash. However, they do pollinate a wide variety of flowers in the garden. In this particular case, they're probably going after nectar rather than pollen. Another pollinator that we don't commonly think of are members of the beetle family. There are beetles that do damage, there are beetles that are predators, and then there are some beetles who actually do pollination for us, as we see here on this milkweed plant. Here's another beetle pollinating a sea holly in the drought tolerant bed at the teaching garden. While we often associate milkweed with butterflies, especially monarchs, they are pollinated by a variety of different insects including, as we've seen, the beetles, this bumblebee, and surprisingly, flies. Flies do pollinate a number of plants. These are just some of the pollinators that we run into in the garden. Birds, bats, a variety of small mammals, all contribute to pollinating various plants in the ecosystem. Take some time this week to take a look at the flowers in your landscape and look at the things that are pollinating them. You might be surprised. Thank you for watching our video. Here are some more resources on pollinators that you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know with your questions, comments, and suggestions for other classes and videos. For more information on lawns and gardens, or for more information on starting a pollinator garden in your community or at your school, please contact the Extension Horticulture Help Desk at mastergardener at pwcgov.org. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.